but I really do want to know how you guys feel about it. How do you feel about the power of this? The RNG of this? Do you feel like it's a good mechanic? Is it fun to you? And are you equipping all your champions like this with these accessories? Stu here with Raid Shadow Legends to go over the overpowered bizarre accessories. Now, not everybody can get them. I understand that. If you are lucky enough to be able to get into silver and into gold, they are very cheap. So every day, every 24 hours, you'll be able to get one of each. Let's go check out what we have here. I have a weak team set up all week long so you guys can get free bars in gold one. And then at the end of the week, I come back up to make sure I stay there, get these free bars. And I really don't do tag team arena that often really just enough so i can get my accessories right being able to put a skill on cooldown especially if you have a champion that can take an additional turn is pretty wild let's watch a clip from last week where i was fighting with rotos and see this for a minute i'm gonna hide myself be a little weird to have two stews on i'm gonna hide myself let's play this clip there is no audio because we played music on this there was music playing at the time so we couldn't have any kind of audio here we wouldn't be able to put it up on youtube but watch this Here's Rodos with just a 10% chance to reset the skill cooldown. On the A3, right? That's where we want it. Only a 10%. I'm missing one accessory. I'm missing a neck to make it a 15% chance. Now, it doesn't matter what your... Oh, reset. Look at my face. Look at my face. <laughs> Look at my face. Look at... I'm talking to everybody on stream like I'm freaking out. Oh, it reset again. It reset again. I'm clapping. I'm like, look at these accessories. They are so broken, so stupid. That's what I'm saying right now. They're so broken, especially on somebody like Rodos. But there are quite a few other champions that they're really good on. A champion that does damage and then can take an additional turn after they do damage. All right, let's move on to the next battle. So this was the same stream, the same exact stream. You can see the shirt I'm wearing right now. We're going to jump over to this next one. Yes, we got this beat easy. Beat it down. I don't know. Stu's just talking craziness. I'm so excited. Here we go. I'm playing my own Rodos. I got Rodos a couple weeks ago whenever it was two times ancient, right? So I leveled him up to 60. We're playing around with him. This is before reset. Same day that reset was going to happen for 2.2 to come out. Here we go with Rodos again. <laughs> come on. I'm like, who do I want to take out first? Now, this time his A3 did block revive, but still. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, Stu, calm down. I know it's crazy. It's crazy. There we go. So we're going to do it another time. A3 again. Yeah, stop talking about it, man. Come on, let's go. <laughs> we don't have a night with this. So we're going to come in here. Boom. Dead A3 again. Whoa, yes. Cheers, cheers. Clap, clap. Let's go. <laughs> let's go, team. They can't stop me. RNG wins. That's what I equated to, right? RNG wins. And here is my Rodos with the two accessories here. Now, what do you think? Do you think these accessories are really overpowered? We're going to talk about a few other champions that will do really well with these kind of accessories and can kind of just be an RNG win, right? If they proc that move and can keep retaking that move over and over, or at least one additional time, and then that move says that they get to take it another turn, so they're doing something fairly amazing in there. And there are quite a few champions that can take advantage of this. Not a lot that can do it as well as Rodos and a few others because they're doing an actual really good move and then taking an additional turn. These accessories aren't even great, right? For Rotos, it's okay because he has damage based off of attack and HP. Still a four star, which is really sad. This one has no speed whatsoever, but we do have HP and HP. So again, that's okay for Rotos. And remember, these are accessories. It doesn't do anything, have anything to do with your artifacts. You can still have, like I've got Relentless on Rotos right now, right? I could have Savage on him. It wouldn't matter what we put, immunity, anything else. These accessories are just like the rest. It's an additional RNG on top of RNG to get that win. And it will happen. You, you saw it happen on that stream last week. I didn't want to go farm in Arena or go into Platinum Arena and farm like that yet. I want to switch him into Savage Gear and do that. And we'll make a video on how Rotos is right now. So let's look at a couple other champions out there that are a lot of fun to play that also will take advantage of these. One of the easiest ways to do this is to come over to Ayumi Love's website right up there at the very top. You type that in, Raid Shadow Legends, and then if you look on the right hand side here and go down to Buffs, Auras, Abilities, and go to Instance, right here, Extra Turn, and then click on Extra Turn. You're going to come over here, and this should be pretty up to date. Just close down some of the stuff that pops up right here, and you'll be able to see the champions. So you see right here, Astrolith is a great one, Kandrafon, Crutrexa, all the rest. Here she is. Look at this lady. Just a crazy DPSer. I don't have one. She would be amazing if I did have one. I would definitely deck her out. Use her in Fire Knight 20 as well as Arena. 
but read this right here so now this has been updated as well we do the weekend we have a hundred percent chance to remove two random buffs from the target then we take an extra turn now if this skill does not go on cooldown which this skill hits very hard mind you she will be able to use this skill again and then take an additional turn just like we saw with rotos multiple turns and then eventually she'll have to go with her a1 which is nuts anyways so that's pretty crazy, right? On Crew Tricks, uh, if you're not using those accessories, definitely slap those on there. Kandrafon, another big one that we've seen played quite a few times. You've seen my guide on him at a 152 speed being slow, going against the speed metas out there. Right here, if you kill somebody, you get an additional turn. Three turn cooldown, this does not go on cooldown with the accessories. If you get lucky enough, right? 15% chance with three. Then he gets to do this AoE again and then finish it up with whatever he has. You know, his A1 right here. And maybe you'll get lucky and be able to do three AoEs, and then you can finish up with this A1. <laughs> pretty pretty nuts with Kandrafon. Gorgo the Augur. So this one does not do damage, but I do have a three-piece set on him. And I am using him at level 60, fully booked out, having a lot of fun with him. We need to do a guide. But I think that this the, the ability to not go on cooldown, because if you put it on an auto, he'll just sit there and you'll see him just raise his little hammer up, and he'll just keep freezing everybody over and over and over again three times in a row about and then he'll come in for the attack but the thing is like for the tower if you're going up the tower and you're having a hard time with it not resetting this cooldown could be really good you could wait for them to come out of freeze or if they have more than two buffs up you could take off additional buffs and then keep freezing them after that so it's not a bad thing to have on champions like this just like a seeker a seeker gets an additional turn increases the turn meter of everybody well if you can increase the turn meter three times in a row i guess that's something right it's not that bad it's not like you're losing out on anything by using these additional accessories if they're as good as your regular accessories so keep that in mind so gorgo is a pretty good one over to yanaka her a2 will attack one enemy and then she will grant an additional turn not too bad you can just attack 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 and then when you're done with that come in with the big aoe so another champion that this will work well on if you can think of any others out there any other kind of situations out there that these accessories will kind of be broken on please let me know we've got one other one an epic gala long braids one of my favorite dps champions for faction wars 21 coming in here with this a3 attacks three times ignores 25 percent of the defense and then can take an additional turn if she has full HP. Reset, reset, kill, kill, kill. You know how it goes. And then on this A2 here, you would do this if you have a shield on. So if you started with a shield, you would ignore another 50% defense and finish out with this move here. So pretty powerful on some of these champions out here. You guys let me know. Do you think that they are too overpowered for those select champions? I know the accessories are not available to everyone out there. They are very sweet to have on champions like Rotos here. We talked about a lot of the other ones that can take advantage of this. We also have ones like Lord Shazar on his A2 where he'll buff himself, take an additional turn. So if he already used his A3, we of course could take multiple additional turns, not go on cooldown, right, on that A2. Just keep buffing himself and then lowering that A3, which is nice. It's not as dirty as coming in with somebody like this that can do damage and then take an additional turn nowhere near as nice as this so any champion that you have make sure that you are using those accessories but i really do want to know how you guys feel about it how do you feel about the power of this the rng of this do you feel like it's a good mechanic is it fun to you and are you equipping all your champions like this with these accessories thanks so much for your time i appreciate you all for watching and i will see you all on a video soon